Hidden Gems is WPTV's.com list of activities that you can find to do that you may not be known about or may not be known about, whether it's hitting up destinations with the kids or visitors or even something that you yourself just want to explore. And this week, WPTV's entertainment reporter T.A. Walker takes us on a very pink hidden gem at the Palm Beach Zoo. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, Derek, I have my pink flamingo tie on. That's a clue. Very about, stylish. Yeah, that's a clue about this week's hidden gem. Be a part of the flock at the Palm Beach Zoo. The flamingos are from Chile and South America. And the mambo is a Caribbean flamingo. He was in another exhibit and became an outcast after he lost vision in one eye. And the other flamingos didn't want to be friends with him anymore. So he got new roommates with the Chilean flamingos and now he's king of the flock. We joined up with Nicole Siebert and her daughter Avery from Suffolk, Virginia. They were in town visiting relatives in Jupiter. Her daughter became enamored with flamingos while in lockdown during the pandemic and watched a live feed of two flamingos in the Keys. So we'd watch live every morning and flamingos kind of became her thing. Nicole recommends the experience. Because everyone has been super friendly and how often do you get to have hands-on experience with a flamingo? Right. <laughs> so yeah, it's amazing. I got to feed Stig and noticed something interesting as she was eating. There's water coming out of the side of their beaks as they're eating. What is that? They're filtering. So oh, really? like a baleen whale, they get a whole bunch of water and food in their mouth, and then the filters trap the food, and then they eject the water out the side. That's so cool. After they have some lunch, they bring their heads up to swallow. They eat krill and microscopic incrustations, which give them their pink color. And when they reproduce, they build nests up to two feet high. When it's time to take a load off, they use their knees, which act as ankles, and they stand on one leg. When the 30-minute experience is nearly over, guests can take pictures with the flock. While we were getting up close with the flamingos, Doris, an eight-year-old capybara, a giant rodent, stopped by to say hi, which put the flamingos on edge and the flock started moving away from us. It was okay. Our 30 minutes with the flamingos was over. Derek, that experience cost about $35 per person, plus the cost of zoo admission. Now, for more hidden gems, just go to our website, WPTV.com, click on the Hidden Gems tab, and while you're there, if you have a secret spot you want us to explore, you can uh, fill in a form there and send it to us, and we'll go check it out. Derek. Very cool. I'm excited they really get that close to you, but I suppose, you know, motivating with, uh, with food... That'll do the trick for just about anybody, myself included, right? Yeah, that's a special treat they only get when the experience is happening. Otherwise, they get just plain food. So they're very happy to get their treats. Very cool.